Hello everybody, I'm Yaa Jessie Pepe Park coming to you all the way from the Youth Institute of Science and Technology in the Ashanti region, an area called Ogogo in Ghana, West Africa. And I have with me here the co-founder of Kusua. Hi, Pat, how are you? I am good. Welcome, Akwaba, as we say here in Ghana. Madasi. And our fearless leader, Bamani Tayimba, who is the person responsible for bringing 27 of us over to Ghana. Yes, family, yes, family. Um, it's about good to see you from Atlanta. And it's just good to finally be here with you at the same time. Uh, and this is also the fifth anniversary when we first came here. Um, uh, first came here October 2007. It was 42 of us. Um, so this is uh, October 2012, and it's 27 of us. So not that much off. Uh, we're still strong. We actually have about the same amount of school supply. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and, and some uh, financial donations to this collection also. Okay, beautiful. Why don't you tell the watching a little bit about your decision to come to Ghana and be a part of this and school. Okay, um, before I do that, I just want to say thank you once again to Africa for the Africans because they've been a number one supporter from day one. As you said, this is the fifth anniversary and Africa for the Africans have been coming for a very long time and we are very appreciative and um, some of the kids that will get a chance to talk today have actually they started school when we first started coming. So if you go on the website, you'll see a lot of them as babies, and now wow. they've grown up. So I want to say thank you again. Basically, um, this is the Youth Institute of Science and Technology. It was founded in October of 2006. We opened the school with about eight students, and one of the students that we opened the school with, the first eight, is still here. Uh, basically, our mission is to come to rural parts of Ghana, Africa, West Africa, and provide a modern and contemporary education for those children that would otherwise not have an opportunity for such an education. Um, courses like digital multimedia, technology, um, we focus on providing um, gender equity classes, making sure that our girls are empowered. Um, that is a problem here in Africa, and it is something that we hope to help build fearless warrior sisters, and we start from when they're young. So that's basically our mission, um, but we don't do this alone. We do it with a lot of support from Africa for the Africans and other different NGOs and people back at home that send five dollars, that send ten dollars, whatever they send. We make sure that we put it to good use. Beautiful. And I was talking to one of your students earlier, and he told me that you have two hundred and eighty-seven students on your enroll. We have two hundred and eighty-seven students, and basically we have um, maximized the capacity of this facility. This building is actually donated to us by the community. Um, basically, I said I wanted to do uh, a school and the chief of this town, Nana Agogo Safong, the Omahini of Agogo, um, he made a decision that he would give us a building to get started. So the community wanted this school, they made it happen. We're at 287, we have a waiting list, we don't really accept any students. And I think tomorrow you guys will get a chance to see the high school that's in the second year. Um, so that you'll see the full program. They start at nursery and we take them all the way up and we help follow them to university. The whole goal is for them not to be so, um, let me say, brain drain minded that they want to leave and go to America like the West is all that. We want to provide them those experiences when they're early so that they can come back here and start nation building and development of their own country. So that's what, you know, that's what our goal is. So we're taking it from nursery all the way up to high school. Okay, and as you can tell, we brought a lot of stuff from Brooklyn. Yes, family. A lot of donations from the States. And every time we're coming to the States and folks are wondering what they'd like to donate, we have to try and maintain contact with school organizers to find out what are some of the immediate needs of this week. Okay, our immediate needs are always um, pencils, exercise, notebooks, but um, it's unfortunate. You come early. We actually got a donation of 60 computers this year, so by the time you guys come back, there should be a computer lab. So one of the things we want donations of is things like USB drives, and, um, mouse, mice, extra mice, um, any kind of technology books, any kind of really financial donations to help support and maintain our computer lab because that's going to be a challenge. This community, um, we are one of the only schools in the community that actually has running water and electricity at all times. So, um, like I said, and that let me say that water and electricity was also donated by um, economic builders of Atlanta, Georgia. So another brother actually came here, put in a septic tank, bathroom, Mr. Charles Huddleston, and also made sure that we have water. So we're the only school in this community to have it. Um, and hopefully by the end of this year, we will, we will have a computer lab for our students finally. Excellent, excellent, excellent.
energy so much. Yes, I want to let you guys be active. We also, you guys have been coming here, but last year we had the opportunity to bring one of our students that's been seeing more money since he first came to Atlanta. So she has something she would she wanted to tell the group. You can go ahead and tell them. Go ahead. Thank you. 